Now at 10 o'clock tonight, a wheelchair basketball team playing in a national championship game from the Valley says their wheelchairs were mishandled on their flight to play in that big game yeah. headed to the East Coast. Just so unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, 12 News journalist Colleen Socorro spoke with the teammates and also advocates who say that this is all too common. Landing in Richmond, Virginia. There's 120 wheels literally sitting in the jetway. They broke seven chairs. They took all the wheels off of our chairs. Wheelchairs Miranda Shields and Justin Walker say belong to Ability 360's wheelchair basketball team. These are my legs. This is my freedom, my survival, my second chance at life that I was given. The team flew Southwest Airlines to the wheelchair basketball national championships. Your wheelchairs are broken because right. they were in there with your other wheelchairs and the bags are broken because the bags were in there with the wheelchairs and 30 bags didn't make it because, because. we had to fit all the wheelchairs. Yes. So it was like we just felt like complete crap. A scenario like this. This isn't the first time that I've had this problem. They left both of our everyday chairs in Dallas last year. They say happens often. It's disheartening. These guys train for years and they go out there for a national competition and to be distracted by something so egregious is just heartbreaking. It really is. Southwest Airlines telling 12 News in a statement they've reviewed the situation and addressed it with the appropriate parties so we are able to provide a better experience for our customers the next time they fly with Southwest. Christopher Rodriguez is president and CEO of Ability360 and says more regulations and legislation is needed to address the issue. There's a national conversation that's being had right now about the treatment of individuals with disabilities and their equipment and their wheelchair with the airlines industry, but yet we continue to see these uh, incidents taking place almost on a daily basis. According to the Department of Transportation's latest air travel consumer report, more than 800 wheelchairs and scooters were mishandled by airlines in the United States in January 2024 alone. What's well, unacceptable. These are serious athletes playing in a serious tournament. They should be focused on preparing for this national tournament. Arizona the Congressman Greg Stanton, who spoke with us on a layover, was just at Ability360 last week discussing these ongoing problems and helped pass legislation out of the House related to this issue. I believe that it happens so regularly that it is a systemic problem, that we need to have much higher required training for employees of the airlines. It's training, listening, and communication Miranda and Justin want to see. We already feel like we're an inconvenience. It's time for us to be loud and let them know that this needs to stop. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.